You gotta go potty. Let's go potty. Let's go potty. Come on, let's go potty. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Alex Grillo. This is Juiced Water Fishing and today we got another dope epi for you guys. I'm setting it all the way up to northern Washington again. If you watched the last video, I caught that seven pounder up. Well, it wasn't seven pounder. It was six, ounce, six pounds, ten ounces. And Tanner's going to be joining us today. I don't know the last time he picked up a fishing pole, but we are going to try to get him on his PB and we're going to try to get some more biggins. So stay tuned because this epi might be dope. You won't believe who's pulling up. <laughs> He's alive. He fishes. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. He is here. Uh, I have arrived. You're welcome. When's the last everybody. time you fished, bro? <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it, dog. Last time we fished was when we went. I got skunked. We are gonna break Tanner's PB. So, are you hyped? <laughs> I didn't wake up, dog. <laughs> All we gotta do is get him over three pounds. So. <laughs> Not even, but we're gonna say three pounds. It's doable. We gonna get it. All right, guys. So today we are gonna start off like the last video with the exo swim and underspin. This lake is really windy and it is really a, a lot, a lot dingier than the last lake we fished. So, a lot of grass, wasn't expecting that, but we're gonna see what we can do. I've seen some people pull some big fish out of here and a lot of fish. So we are just gonna slow roll this swim bait over top of the grass. We're fishing a windblown rocky bank. So what does it mean? Obviously, wind blowing, the wind's blowing that way, but what does that mean for fishing? It means that, um, so like little bait fish, yeah. they're not strong enough to like swim against the currents and stuff. So the bait fish will get pushed onto this bank more so than like the, uh, the opposite side. Gotcha. So bigger fish will tend to be drawn towards wind blown banks, easier prey. I just have to send it to the other end and drift and down. Drift this bank don't look that great anyways. Hi, G. You miss her's knees? Oh, yeah. Bye bye, G. You wanna see what a grassy lake looks like? Cause the motor ain't working. <laughs> That's fish. Oh. oh no! No! What do you got on there? Swimmer. Oh man. Look at Chris That chunky swimmer. Bro, that was yeah that was a hundred percent of fish that was hundred percent of fish like that other shit was not yeah fish. that was a fish yeah that was a fish yeah
All right, guys, so this lake did not pan out. It was so grassy. We couldn't even fish. Like, I couldn't, unless you had a frog, you weren't gonna be able to fish this lake. So we are gonna eat lunch and then we're gonna give it a send back down about an hour and fish the lake that I caught my two PBs on. Um, Tanner needs to catch fish. So we're gonna try to get this done. We're gonna eat lunch and then we gonna catch some more fish. familiar because this is where that first PB came. We uh, sent it over to Beaver Lake. We're gonna try to get on some PBs. Tanner has never caught anything bigger than three. Three. So that's uh, our goal for today. And then I just hope I can catch some decent fish. Oh. I just got a fight over there. Oh my god. I literally like domed a fish in the head because it freaking like swiped at it. Oh, that went way left. I feel like right there. Yeah. There's no grass, but right where we are. You're talking about over there? Yeah. I'm gonna go fish this little pocket. That's what I'm saying. Hopefully we can clear up enough ahead so we can get over. Yeet. Yeah. Yeah, yeet. That was scary. Trying to keep him up out of this grass. He's running. It's not big, but uh, it might be big. Get the net. Get the net. I don't know how big it is. Oh, get the net. Get the net. Get the net. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Go under. Go under. Go under. Got it. Let's go. It. Let's go. Don't cut the ball, boy. Popped it. That's a good one. Yeah. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Oh shit, bird's nest. That's a good one. I had to keep my rod high to keep this one out of the grass. I'd say it might just be touching four pounds. It's a good one, boys. We have grinded all day for this fish. Oh my God. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Look at that fish. That Biospawn Exoswim. He's got a bloody top part of his mouth. It has been a struggle bus today, but the Biospawn Exoswim got it done. Another solid fish that this lake has produced. Nice fish. Look at that. Beautiful. I don't know what the weight is on it. I'm guessing probably three and a half to it might touch four. We shall see. Uh, we're gonna get a weight on them real quick and then get them back. And keep fishing. I was just swimming that across the grass and he bumped it, set the hook, and he was fighting me because this whole side is filled with grass to the top. So it was tough keeping him out of it, but all right, let's see. Oh, good fish. 4.25. That's it, guys. 
Glad we got one today. Boxy. Solid fish. Yeah. She's boxy. Look at that beautiful fish. All right, guys. So we're going to get the release on this beautiful fish. Look at that. Back into the depths. Right into the weeds. Let's go. Alright guys, we're going to end the video here today. If you stuck with me through this whole thing, uh, thank you so much. It's been a slow one, but at least we got one good fish. Two things that I wanted to tell you before I left you guys is when you're fishing grass like that, that's really high and you got a potential to get a big fish and you need to get them out of there, fish a higher gear ratio reel. That's going to help you get them out of the grass quick, keep them above it so we can't dig down there and get off from you guys. And then, I don't remember what the second thing was, but anyways, we are peacing out. We will see you guys on the next episode of Juiced Water Fishing. Peace.